second grade friends. Hope you guys are doing well. I miss seeing you. We're going to give you a really fun project to work on while you are home. We're going to be talking about shapes for this project. We just finished up and have been working on our castle projects in class, and we've been using geometric shapes. Those are the shapes that have names like circles, squares, triangles, and rectangles. Today we're going to do a project that uses organic shapes. Organic shapes are the shapes that don't have names. So if we start with a line and we turn it into a shape by connecting that line. Remember, shapes don't have any openings. There's no beginning and no ending. So these are just examples of some organic shapes over here. So I'm going to talk to you guys about how you're going to use a string to make an organic shape and turn it into an organic shape monster. Keep watching and have fun. So we just talked about organic shapes versus geometric shapes. And now we're going to use um, organic shapes to make an organic shape monster. It's okay if you use some geometric shapes while you're doing this, but we're going to start with an organic shape. Now to help us make our organic shape, what you guys are going to use is um, a piece of string. So I got a piece of yarn and I tied it together. Now if you don't have any yarn or string in your house, you can use a rubber band, a big one, or you can use a necklace or a bracelet, or you can just draw an organic shape on your paper. But it's kind of fun to use something to help you make it. You're also going to need a piece of paper. You're probably going to want a pencil, but you don't need to use a pencil. You can just use crayons or markers or colored pencils if you want. And you don't have to use crayons or markers or colored pencils. You can just use a pencil if you don't have anything else to use. So I'm going to clear my space and on my paper I'm going to take my string. And since it's tied off now, it's a shape. Remember, a shape has no openings in it. If I put a little bug in here, he is not getting out past here because there's no openings, not like a line that would have openings. So I'm going to play around a little bit and I'm just going to move my shape. Now I don't want to do a geometric shape, so I'm not going to do a square or a rectangle or a circle. I'm going to make a shape that has no name, which we like to call the organic shapes. So let's see, how about if I just did something like that? Or what you can do is you could just plop it down on the paper sort of see what happens. There we go. Why don't we do that and see what I can turn it into. So now I'm going to use my pencil and you can go on the outside or the inside. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to trace around the lines that my shape made, that those that yarn made and finish at the end. And there you go. I'm done with that now. Now I'm going to look at this and I'm going to think about how I'm going to turn this into a monster. Now your monster could be a happy monster, a funny monster, a scary monster, any kind of monster you want it to be. I think I'm going to put a mouth coming out over here and I think I'm going to make this one kind of scary. I'm going to show you I made another one before that is not a scary one. But I'm going to give this one, I'm going to use a organic shape. Now maybe I'm going to use some geometric shapes because I'm going to put some zigzaggy triangles in there. It almost looks like a hamburger bun mouth. There we go. Maybe I'm going to give him a crazy little tongue coming out. Now I want to give him an eye or a couple of eyes. So maybe I'm going to do an eye right on the top of his head with a great big eyeball. And I'm going to give him an eyebrow that comes out from the side over here. I don't know. I'm just adding some strange things to him. Now he needs to get around somehow. He's got to either fly or hop or jump or walk. Hmm, I think I'm going to give him some wings. So I'm going to give him a great big wing that goes over here. Now I've got this line that's still showing on the other side of that wing. Now if my wing is see-through, you would see that line. But since I don't think I want my wings to be see-through, I'm going to erase this. And there we go. I'm going to give him a wing so he can get around. I also am going to I think, give him some little legs at the bottom so he can slide along too. And you can just, I can just keep adding details and details and details. I think I'm going to give him a tail. 
Maybe I'm gonna give him some polka dots because I love polka dots. See, my other monster has polka dots too. Maybe when I'm all done drawing my monster, since you might have some free time like I have some free time these days, you can go in and in the back of it, you can give him an environment. And maybe I wanna make him live somewhere since he flies. Maybe I'm gonna make him in the sky. I'll make some clouds. I can put some butterflies in. I can make the sun shining. And then I can use my crayons or my markers and I can add colors and add more patterns and designs. I do love adding details so I can just keep going and going and going. And you guys can keep going and going and going. You can make many of these. You can use the same string and make something different. I just made this one earlier and I used the same string, but my shape was very different, my organic shape. So my monster came out very different. So you guys can play around and see all the different monsters, organic shape monsters that you can make. You can make a whole family, you can make a whole neighborhood, you can make one for everybody in your house right now. And you can give them names, think about what kind of names you might give them. So have some fun with this. And along the way, you're probably gonna make some beautiful oopses. So have fun seeing what they turn into and how you can turn them into something beautiful. You guys have lots of fun creating and exploring and I miss you and I love you and I will see you next week.